그러면은 파트 5 4문제 풀어보도록 하겠습니다. Part 5. Questions 37 through 40. You will now hear two longer monologues. For each item, you will hear a monologue and two corresponding questions, all of which will be read twice. Then you will hear four options for each question, which will be read only once. Choose the option that best answers each question. Part 5. Questions 37 through 40. Numbers 37 and 38. Among the Pokot people of Kenya, the ceremony of Parpara is extremely important. I was fortunate to attend this ritual during my stay there. It is performed before the birth of a first child, and its primary purpose is to cleanse and purify the parents-to-be and exercise any evil that may threaten the health of the unborn baby. The ceremony takes place during the last months of pregnancy and is eagerly planned by the extended family. Question number 37. What is the main purpose of the talk? Question number 38. What can be inferred from the speech? Among the Poka people of Kenya, the ceremony of Parpara is extremely important. I was fortunate to attend this ritual during my stay there. It is performed before the birth of a first child, and its primary purpose is to cleanse and purify the parents-to-be and exercise any evil that may threaten the health of the unborn baby. The ceremony takes place during the last months of pregnancy and is eagerly planned by the extended family. Question number 37. What is the main purpose of the talk? A. To introduce a traditional pokot ceremony. B. To compare Pokot and Kenyan rituals. C. To describe the speaker's travels in Kenya. D. To explain differences in birthing customs. Question number 38. What can be inferred from the speech? A. The speaker couldn't attend the Parpara ritual. B. The ritual is performed after the birth of a first child. C. The ceremony is held to drive away the evil spirits. D. The ceremony takes place without any specific plans. Numbers 39 and 40. In all cultures through time, humans have had to find ways to settle disputes. And they have done so in very distinct ways. For example, gentlemen in 17th century Europe would duel illegally to settle disagreements. In a South Pacific island during the 19th century, village leaders would encourage slighted parties to solve problems by taking turns hitting each other with a club. Around the same time, the Sioux Native Americans relied on a mediator to solve even minor disputes. Different routes, yes, but all to reach the same end. Question number 39. What is the main idea of the lecture? Question number 40. Which is correct about the lecture? In all cultures through time, humans have had to find ways to settle disputes, and they have done so in very distinct ways. For example, gentlemen in 17th century Europe would duel, illegally, to settle disagreements. In a South Pacific island during the 19th century, village leaders would encourage slighted parties to solve problems by taking turns hitting each other with a club. Around the same time, the Sioux Native Americans relied on a mediator to solve even minor disputes. Different routes, yes, but all to reach the same end. Question number 39. What is the main idea of the lecture? A. Conflict resolution methods are culturally specific. B. Fighting has resulted in quick problem resolution. C. The Sioux Indians never solved problems violently. D. Problem-solving techniques have improved over time. Question number 40. Which is correct about the lecture? A. The gentlemen in 17th century Europe used to duel to settle disagreements, which was illegal. 
B. Humans have had to find ways to settle disputes in some specific cultures. C. In the 19th century, village leaders who lived in the Mediterranean region encouraged slighted parties to manage the situation by hitting each other. D. The Sioux Native Americans relied on a mediator to solve the major disputes. Okay. Come on to the A. 38번 C. 39번에 A. 40번은 A나 C. 더 마세요? 네. 오케이. 제가 40번 알아보면 돼요. 